Welcome back guys to another CCLP3 links thing video. I actually have my stopwatch running this time so I know how long the video will be. And I haven't even looked at what the last one was. Uh, let me see. A little pop up. Let me see here. Well you can see the video size. Oh it was only 27 minutes. That's not that bad. Yeah. The video's sizes are pretty overly huge and I don't know what to do about it. Like I I have tried compressing videos before and it just doesn't work that good. It makes the quality look like crap, so I basically refuse to compress the videos into smaller file sizes. It just does not work out in my favor. Okay, that clicking noise is annoying. That is never going to end, is it? Well, we can shut it off. So, let's do that. And not, not let's just do that. We actually have to do that. But first, let's get blocks over here. I'm not sure what those puffer balls are for. I guess it's to, uh... Make it, I guess you can make it easier on yourself instead of having to loot back. We'll do that. Because why not? <clears throat> I'm not the biggest fan of this level, honestly. Like, it's. Even though it's not necessarily true, it kind of takes up one section of the map. Even though. You know, there's no walls on the outside or anything. Like, there's no, there's nothing out there. It's just floor. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Like, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. Okay, finally, some peace and quiet. But, yeah, there's just... Like, for being a, a prison level, I would kind of expect it to be... You know, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I guess. But maybe that's just me being, you know, an aesthetic whore. So, yeah, I, I'm i going to call myself that because it, it's pretty true. I mean, I think whether you, whether you want to agree to that or not, I'm pretty sure most people would. So, yeah, from here on out, it's pretty much nothing but this. It's just block pushing. And my cat is playing with my 3DS charger. I don't know why. She knows not to play with that. Let me throw something at her. No, I don't think she stopped. I threw a Pepsi bottle at her, but it didn't hit the floor. Yeah, she better stop, because if she, if she breaks that, I'm going to be pissed. I bought, I bought a brand new 3DS. I had this red one for about five years, and I finally put it to rest. I still have it, and it still works pretty well. It Just the buttons are getting mashed in. They're not responding to the system like they used to. So... Really? Okay. More of this ticking noise, because I, that was a completely fair death. I swear, that was completely fair. Okay, I need to stop her. This is ridiculous. Okay, I don't know why... I don't know why she does that. Like, seriously. You, like, you know not to play with the freaking cord. Why do it? It's... It's plugged in, so if she bites into it, she's going to get electrocuted. Or maybe not electrocuted, but she'll get zapped at least. So it's like... Just don't do that. <laughs> so you got to hear a little bit of, of background stuff, but that's totally... Okay, now, now she attacks the other cat. Yeah, this is what I get for recording at 3 in the morning. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, the ending in this level is kind of, kind of dumb. I'm kind of surprised I died by that ball. Like the, actually it wasn't even the ball, the block is, block is the one that killed me. It bounced off the ball and the block killed me. Which was completely fair. I mean, we'll, we'll 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 just settle that right now. I, it, it was completely fair. So, and if you can't tell, I'm being completely sarcastic because it was completely unfair. That should be a level mod. Completely unfair. Mod of totally unfair. I know Tyler wants me to make a mod of totally fair called totally fun fair, but I don't really know how how to go about that. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so hopefully, I'm going to actually try to trap this ball in as soon as I can. Which unfortunately, I ha I'll have to fill in another water, couple of water spaces before I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I can do it. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't get that timing earlier. Actually, that particular part makes me gives me a level idea. I should I need to make a level right after this video. Like that is that is how quickly I can come up with level ideas. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> but when you, when you have a pretty strong imagination process, I mean, it happens. Okay, don't unlock. I don't like how that green lock is there. Like you, okay, you can you can unlock it, but it's like here, you unlock this. Oh, you you failed. You fucked the level. Though you can't you can technically recover from it. It would take a especially if you have this for configuration with the ball down here. You can recover from that, but it's still kind of mean to even place that there in the first place. You know, I like this ending. This ending's... It's, in my opinion, I like it, but this ending's like completely out of place. Like, it makes no sense with the level. I, I guess it kind of does, especially this, how the exit is all the way down here. It's like, well, it was that supposed to resemble. Anyway, that's Prison Break done. I'm gonna start crafting on the level, because it's not a bad level. We'll get, we're getting to the bad stuff, though. Like this level. Actually, this level's not that bad, but Tyler, a lot of people don't like it. <laughs> so, Civilization of Creatures. So, I have a pretty awesome thing to talk about, and we're going to talk about it because it's relevant. And that is the mod of this level that I made. Because this level originated in TS1, and I modded this level to be better. Well, not even, not just better, but in my style. And it's pretty cool. The, the overall layout of this level is almost exactly the same. There's a few aesthetic changes and a few, you know, smarter design decisions. Like that blob is not in that corridor. Actually, I don't think that corridor even exists. In my version, I don't remember. This blue wall section is not as quote unquote evil. I don't think it's evil. I think it's just you have to you know keep up with the pace. You try one wall, you get it wrong, you have to keep up with the pace. That's how I see it at least. I added some gravel like right there. I think I left that one wall, but I 
I made it to where you don't have to take the force force slides every single time. You can actually walk to certain areas if you want to. But the force force slide is pretty much required. Okay, that wasn't terrible luck. Yeah, I completely removed this character. I made it one big room with a blob. This section is exactly the same. Like, I did not change this section at all. I think it's legitimate as, as is. And I made no, like, oh, like how this part is no here to here to here. I didn't make, I didn't, like, change any section distinctively. I kept everything the same for the most part. I just made it more enjoyable to play. And it this whole level, in my version, it's not one big loop like this. I actually added teleports on two of the corners of this level. That is, and I didn't mean to die there, but it's actually kind of helpful. There's a teleport right here, and then there's a teleport on the opposite corner, on the bottom right. And I want to say I switched the directions of the force floors. I think this one goes down. This one still goes right. But basically, this top section, this top and right section goes the same direction. But the other way goes the opposite direction. So basically, it's not as tedious. I should probably post a screenshot of this version, but... I think t me, Tyler and I kind of agreed to not share any images of what we come up with. You know, unless, except with each other, but even that we don't really share much with each other. But yeah, the mod of this level I made is, is pretty legitimate. Like, it's probably the best design I've come up with of, of his levels so far. But once I get to the intersection of this, intersection, the uh, you know the inside part of this level, I can explain it a lot better. I think I expanded this ball path. And added, I added more chips to this level as well, so I completely skipped the the socket. That's okay. I su surprisingly, I replaced the the fire that's on this bottom part. I. I think I hardly tweak this walker part. Okay, I forgot that block was even there. Let's just kill it. Because we you can totally kill blocks. I want to say I... Com not insanely, but I overhauled this paramecia section pretty heavily. Like, you don't have to wait for this guy. I think I made it to where... I think I turned into a block puzzle, actually, now that I think about it. I actually haven't looked at the level since I made it and tested it, so... Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember how, what, what I came up with. Uh, this Press this button three times. Oh yeah, this part I changed for sure. So what I did with this button cloner, you still have to press it three, or I think you have to press it, uh, I think this button, I changed it to a one-time use button cloner, or a uh, clone machine. And that button it clones onto clones a blob that in like a three, one by three area, like, like from here to here, except not this exact spot. And that blob has to hit the button, I think, six times, and it clones walkers where the glider is. But I made it, since you would think it relies on randomness. 
It actually does not. Because by the time you reach that section, which is all the way over here, most of the bomb <coughs> sorry, holy crap. Most of the bombs are already detonated or exploded. So there's like hard there's really no wait time by the time you get to that section. So it turned into a pretty cool level overall. Uh, I don't even know what I was doing. Yeah, I don't even know what I was doing there. But I, since I explained this level fairly enough, I think you guys get the idea. You'll see the level eventually. And actually play it for yourselves. And I completely skipped the fire section, really. But yeah, my improvement of this level is a pretty huge improvement compared to what this level is right now. This honestly, it has to be my least favorite Tyler level in this set. And I think he can, I think he agrees with that too. So, I have no, you know, regret saying that. Though Jumble and. Jumble kind comes kind of close, honestly. All about blocks, I'm okay with. Coal Mine is probably my second favorite in this set of his. Entrance, entrance Examination is. It's a decent level. I mean, it's really nothing special, but. It's, you know, it's not like, I don't, I don't hate the level, I'll, that's all I can really say. And then, what else is, yeah, Pushy is my favorite one. And... Uh, what was the last one? Oh, Everybody Get Dangerous. I'm kind of neutral with that one, actually, like... You would think I, I would hate the lo that level, but I I do to a, a degree, but it's not like it's a terrible level. Okay, this part tripped me up for a long time when I first played CCLP3. I was still kind of a noob back then. Man, who knows, I might still qualify as a noob. But, like, you really have to know your monster movements by the, by this time in the set. Because a lot of these later levels require that. Require that knowledge. I want to say in the original version of this level, that hint said hit that button thrice. And... I didn't know thrice was a word. Oh, I thought I exploded the bomb. You're telling me this block has been sliding around this entire time? I swore, I, I thought I exploded it. I want to say I removed that bomb entirely. Or I moved it to where you don't have to wait a whole cycle to blow it up. Okay, clone of teeth, then go just straight up. I don't know what I was doing earlier. I was thinking about cloning another one just so it wouldn't hit the button so many times, but I honestly am not going to risk that at this point. I adjusted this, don't worry, I adjusted this section too. 
Like, there's still blobs, and you still have to get a block out, but I don't think you have to... I think I made it to where you don't have to deal with a blob itself. And I made this less claustrophobic, to put it pretty simply. And you have to be up there. This ball section is exactly the same. And the reason why I added teleports is because you can enter a teleport and you can go pretty much straight to the exit if you enter the right direction. Instead of walking all the way to the other side of the, of the level. So these fires right here, I actually changed those fires into monsters. Since this level has every, or is basically supposed to show off that this level has every type of monster, I added every type of monster in a, in a line, and I kept the fire and just placed the fire underneath all, all the monsters. They, they just don't move, so they don't die in, in MS. So, yeah, that's my mod pretty much explained. I, like I said, you'll have to see it when... Well, when you see it. Now on to everyone's favorite level. Not mine, but some people, actually quite a few people like this level. I'll be honest, I have a love I have a love-hate relationship with this level. Like I think I talked about it before and or at least mentioned it like in some episode of this series. But this level did get a lot of uh, bad, uh, did really get a bad reputation, mostly because of that of that one LP -er. and I can't believe I did that, just because like he raged on it, and therefore everyone else did. So. Or, or not really everyone else did, they just they felt the need that like they had to, just because this one particular person did. And, and I'm pretty sure everyone knows who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to mention his name just because, you know, some people probably forgot. Or, um, a collision happened, therefore I lost. But you really have to approach this level like as a puzzle, not a melee level, and I think that's the confusion. But I mean, realistically, it is it is honestly more of a melee level than it is a puzzle, because just because it involves monsters and these monsters can pretty easily kill you. So. Are you serious? I thought I would be safe right there. Come on. I moved. I pressed right. I know for a fact that I pressed right. I don't know why my keyboard didn't register it. It must be malfunctioning. A great level reference. Okay, that was stupid. I should not have done that. But yeah, these it's not like these rooms are super huge. Like, I think if these rooms are like, maybe... I don't know. Can't really ask for an aesthetic change, because I think those levels aesthetics are pretty cool, even though they're kind of bland. Yeah, if one were to approach this as a puzzle, it's a good puzzle, but it you do kind of have to rely on collision timing to a certain degree. And it's kind of not fair because you don't really know what these collisions are, nor do you really know how to work with collisions like that. Look at that. Look at this look at this goddamn collision. This is so stupid. 
That should not work, but it somehow freaking does. At somehow, somehow that collision worked. But, okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, man, I barely made that one. That was close. That's caves. Without a rage, that's pretty cool. Okay, so oil rig. Surely there's no chance of you escaping this abandoned oil rig, hunch it. So this level kind of abuses the whole Chuck, Chuck Becker board. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it that. It kind of abuses that, the block checkerboard stuff. I mean, it, it, it is a pretty cool level, but it's a level I really disagree with the time limit for. And I'm not one to really do that. I rarely disagree with time limits. But this is probably one of the few levels in any set that I disagree with the time limit for. Like, this level requires a lot of backtracking. It's ridiculous. It is a cool it is a pretty cool level though. I will I will say that. But this time limit should have been at least a hundred seconds higher than what it is. So I wanna say the bold time for this takes up almost half the time. And that is, that is not a good thing. Probably takes up more time in links because of splash delay and how you have to wait for all these blocks to to become dirt completely. I want to say I have a pretty decent configuration. Yeah, I only need four blocks out of this now. I think that's pretty ma e easily manageable. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many blocks you can get out of this altogether. Like, blocks you can get out and actually use. I want to say you can get, like, if I had to guess, I think you can manage to get 12 out. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so, can't go that way because there's a socket there, because the socket just couldn't be right here or something like that. Okay. So one thing about the solo I really admire is this bottom part right here uh, that I'm about to go to. This is so cool. Like, I don't know how, but this actually makes me think of an oil rig. So, good job with the aesthetic choice there, Mr. Bowmeister. I wonder where, I wonder whatever happened to him. I mean, I know he must have been decent friends with Tyler, because I guess Tyler got permission from him to uh, make his level zinc compatible. to get them submitted for uh, level sets, so. But who knows. So now, this is the backtracking part I was talking about. You have to go around this pretty long track. Like, it's not, it's not as, it's not as long as it could be, and I appreciate that's not no longer, but it's still pretty lengthy, especially with the time limit.
Like I, I would like to think I completed this level at a pretty reasonable pace, and yet I will have like 160 seconds left on the clock. Because I have to go all the way around to get that block out. Actually, I'll have less than 160 seconds. Holy crap. I really misjudged that. I only got less than 150. Damn. You CCLB3 staff members, you guys should have reevaluated re -evaluated your time limit choices. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Unless that was intended. I don't know. So Lazy Hourglass. This is in my top 10 list on CC Zone. My third favorite level in this set. Why is that? Well... Admittedly, it's for the aesthetics. Like, I, I can't hide the fact. It's be mostly because of the aesthetic choice. But, I love the amount of blocks that this level has that you can use. Like, I, I really do. I, I probably like that a little too much. I'm not a big fan of the ball dodging part, but at least you can kill the balls off, which is, you know, also a... a pretty big plus that this level gets or a benefit or whatever level with benefits that could be a level title someone make a level with that I, I am not going to do such a thing so yeah one thing I can probably talk about is a level I made that was inspired by this level called the Explosive Chamber. And that level... A lot of people like. And by a lot, I mean like... Mostly, I think, who was it? Who was it that said they liked that level? I think Jeffrey said he liked it. I pressed right, and it didn't push the block. Nice. Both those can die. That can die. Okay, I was gonna say I thought there was a ball in that in that column. But I made a level called Explosive Chamber that was inspired by this, and a lot of people actually like that better than this level, which surprises me. Because Explosive Chamber has more I'd like to think it has more ways of screwing the level than it does solving the level. Like, since I made it and included it in a Josh L set, I obviously felt it was good enough to be in one. Hence why I didn't reject it. But, I kind of feel like today I probably should have done that. Just because... Okay, is there a ball coming? Or did it... I think it died. I think I killed it. Already. Alright, we're gonna block that off. I'm trying to think. That was not a good idea. I should've ended the video here, but we'll... We'll end it af after this one. And I completely mistimed that. Yeah, a lot of people like Explosive Chamber. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, yeah, I, I can't complain. I, I really can't. If you guys like that level, then... You know, thank you. Like, I really mean it. Like, I, I, it makes me happy that a level I personally don't like, people like. Or a level I, I made that I don't like. OK, 
Okay. You know, I could just block slap a lot of these. I wonder if the this level's bold and links requires that. Okay, I completely did that wrong. Don't know what I was even trying to do there. Apparently I was trying to die like I did there. Yeah, a lot of people don't like this level e either, but I do. Shamely, it's because it's a ty Tyrathali level, and Tyrathali's levels in CCW2 are some of my favorites. Minus, minus Maze Den. Maze Den was complete crap. I guess that's another blue wall level I don't like. Even though that wasn't really a blue wall level, that was mostly an a hidden wall level. And it was kind of unoriginal. It felt like Morton just more tedious and without a tooth monster. Okay, I only have these three chips left, which thankfully I can get right here. So now, hopefully, now that I got all the chips in this area finally, it only took me like 10 minutes to do that. Let's proceed. These videos are going to be way too freaking long now, I swear. Like, four levels, or no, five levels. If I solve this, I should solve this, though. I'm gonna handle this section a lot better. Okay, that was a little too close for my liking, but... Okay. But yeah, the fact that you have the option to kill the balls off is pretty nice. I think the thing about Explosive Chamber I don't like about it is I kind of limited the, the space you can kill the balls in. Which benefits it in a way, but not really. I should have added more ways to kill the balls, or at least I probably should have removed some of them. I only have these two chips to get. And I just have to exit. There we go. That is Tyre Folly and Zrith. Lazy Hourglass. So, now we're on to Magic Trick, and I'm definitely going to stop here because I'm seriously getting tired of recording these really long videos. I know I can, I know. Most of you probably don't mind. You guys get stuff to watch. But, yeah. I have a I have a pretty nice backlog of videos now. Like, I'm, I think up to, uh, as of now, I think up to Chip Alone, Lost in Chip City, was reported. So, that's another 20, almost 30 levels played since. Actually, over 30 levels. That's over 30 levels I've played since then. So I have a pretty nice backlog of videos now. So I'm definitely going to take a break from doing this. Because so, I'm kind of out of things to talk about. I'm kind of out of topics to think of and discuss or whatever. So and nothing important is happening in, the, in any major group So on Skype. So we'll give it a couple of days to record stuff, get these videos uploaded, and then we'll, I'll record more stuff and... Hopefully have more interesting things to talk about. But we're on our way to getting this set done. We're, you know, good progress so far. I think this is like, I don't even know what video this is. It's probably like episode 12 or 13 or something. Which is pretty decent progress. So, until then guys, I'll see you guys later. I'm just going to make this a, a nice even 40 minute video.